Hi, welcome to Cat Science Club. Today we're gonna to be making a circuit board. So the items you're gonna need are either a cutting board, if you can see the cutting board here, cutting board or scissors. And then we're gonna use aluminum foil, or you can use, this is maker tape, which works really good. And I'll show you some more about that and um, give you some advice about maker tape. So we have aluminum foil and then this paper right here is a nice piece for the kids to write their questions on one side, their answers on the other side, and we're gonna have a circuit, um, circuit tester that actually lights up when it goes from one side to the other when they make a connection. But today we're concentrating just on the circuit board. Something hard for the paper to glue on. So if you have um, a file folder like this, a manila envelope or something thick, or just copy this onto cardstock paper. And finally, you're gonna need some glue, okay? All right, so if you're a teacher, I suggest cutting the aluminum foil into long, thin strips for the kids. Or if you don't have the time, um, you can have each of the kids use scissors to go ahead and cut this. If you do use the cutting boards, it's a little, sometimes it's a little difficult, but it gets you a better straighter line than scissors do. So then you have a nice long piece like that. So then, it will go across on the back side. It won't go on the front side. It'll go on the back side across, like so. Uh, we'll show you some more. So then you have to cut a whole bunch of these. Watching your fingers. All right, or you could use scissors. It takes a little more time, and it's hard to keep straight, especially if you have younger students, or if you're younger, cutting it yourself. And then you get nice long strips, thin long strips to go across. Stay tuned to the end to find a great substitute for the aluminum foil that's a lot easier to work with when you're working with little kids. All right, so we're just gonna move the foil out of the way, and we're gonna glue this piece of paper onto our manila, I said envelope earlier, I meant folded manila. Um, folder. So we're going to glue that on. And you glue it onto the outside of your folder. And once you have that on there, you can take your hole punch and you're gonna reach in and punch those holes. Now sometimes it's a little tricky because it's so far away. So what we do is we go ahead and cut this part off. So you can cut it or you can tear it off. I'm gonna try tearing it off, let's see what happens. There we go. Hole, punch in there. This side needs a little trimming on the side of it. So it's a good idea to use cardstock so then you wouldn't have to worry about trimming any of the edges. But we had a bunch of um, manila folders just laying around that no one was using. So I just used those for my class. And there you will see the holes are all in there. Flip it over. And now you're gonna take your manila, or sorry, you're gonna take, now you're gonna take your, your foil and hopefully it's long enough and go from one side to the other side. At this point, uh, I would recommend labeling this one, two, three, four on this side so you can see, so you can match the two sides up. So let's just go ahead and, and let me grab a pencil and we'll do that. All right, so I got my pencil and we're just gonna put, match this 
pull on the back side because sometimes the kids get confused on what where they match stuff. So we're gonna mark this A, B, C, D, and E, and these will match up with this side as one. And so so I'll have one, two, three, four, and five. So now we're ready for the foil and we're gonna need some masking tape. Take a little piece of masking tape. You're gonna cover up one hole with the foil. Make sure it goes across and covers up the other hole. Just start out with a little piece of tape for now. That's just gonna hold it in place. So then write yourself a little note that you connect it one to E. So then we have like a answer, um, answer key down there at the bottom. So one to E. Now, because electricity can flow through the aluminum foil, we wanna cover up the foil with masking tape. So, the aluminum foil is acting as a conductor and the masking tape is acting as an insulator. So you have to cover up all the foil, even one tiny little piece of foil sticking out, the electrons can move off of that and onto another piece of foil. So you need to cover up all the foil. And you repeat. So have all the foil covered up. So all the foil should be covered up. And if you're not sure if it is or isn't, go ahead and add a little layer of extra masking tape, just to be safe. So then we're gonna do another one. Let's do B24, B4. B4. You're gonna do that to each one of these. Add a little piece of tape right there. You can just tear this off with your hands. Make sure it's over the hole. Cover up the foil. Once again, the foil is acting as a conductor and the mask tape is acting, is acting as an insulator. I see a tiny piece right there. You probably can't get that on the screen, but there's a tiny piece of foil sticking out. And if another piece of foil were to touch that, it um, may not give you the proper connection that you need. It's called a short. Could short out. Same thing over here. There's some foil sticking out over here that we gotta cover up. We don't want to short out our circuits. So if you look closely, you can see where we put the foil in and where there is no foil. So there's foil going across from B or 4B. And we're just gonna keep doing that. So we're gonna go, we already did one when the camera was off, we're gonna go A to five. But sometimes like the students will like do something where they accidentally rip, like they're putting the tape down and they accidentally rip the piece apart. All right, so that's no big deal because it's aluminum foil is gonna act as a really good conductor. So you can just tape those pieces back together. So I say overlap, show that again on the screen. So I say overlap and touch each other, it's gonna be okay. So put one, like if your piece is too short or you cut them too short too, they can always just layer them on top of each other, one touching the other, tape it down in place. All right. Don't forget to label it, 5A. Cover up your hole. Now remember to cover this whole piece with foil. All right, so we're gonna put on the last piece, but if you look here, each layer is 
going over masking tape so that each piece of foil does not touch another piece of foil. So the conductors never touch another conductor. And that's what you wanna make sure you're doing. Once again, if you don't do that, it'll give you a short. The electrons will flow through the foil to another spot where you may not want it to go. Just tear this little extra piece off. You can do a long piece if you want. And that's what the back looks like. But you just turn it over to the other side. You have these nice pieces where the foil is, is going to conduct the electricity from one side to the other. So we have, for example, um, four runs to B. So what you want to do here, now that you have your answer key on the back, you're going to put a question on four and the answer on B. That's just one of the things you could do. You can um, come up with your own ideas, but that's one of the things that we do. We have students write science questions on this side and then the answers on that side. So we have a science question over here and then the answer would be here. You touch the circuit tester together, it'll conduct electricity through it. And if you look at one of our other activities on instructables.com or perhaps another video I'll show, we actually have a circuit tester that we make, that the students make, and the light bulb turns, turns on using holiday lights. All right, so we're back with our circuit tester. So here we have our circuit tester and we have our board, our circuit board. We're gonna go ahead and test to see if our circuit is working. So B4 was one that we said, or 4B. So I'm gonna put one in and to the B and eventually on the four, it should make some kind of noise or register. So we're gonna go down. If it beeps at one, that's a problem. That means we have a short circuit. Where it beats it, beeps it. Anything other than four, we have a short circuit. Let's go down to five and then four. There it is. We have ourselves a connection. So that is a complete circuit. And let's try A. A should only go for one of them. There we go. So the, write your question for five right there. You answered A, and one of the questions could be, could be about complete circuits, open circuits, or closed circuits. So a complete circuit would be a closed circuit, would be another name, or a complete loop. So there's different names for these, but we have ourselves a complete circuit once we touch the four and the B together, and we have ourselves a winner. All right, so I mentioned another way of uh, making these circuit boards is with maker tape. The maker tape is a excellent conductor and you don't have to cut all the foil and it's already in a nice, nice um, width so that you can just go ahead and cut that to the size that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna make one with maker tape. Now this stuff is a lot stronger than the, the foil and it conducts the electricity even better than the foil as well. So let's go ahead and use that. I'm gonna try tearing it, but I got a feeling I'm gonna need scissors for it. Yes, because it's got tape on the back and some backing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll leave that tape on there. And just go ahead and use our own masking tape because it's still a conductor. So we need our insulator to cover that up. You're gonna do the exact same thing on there as we did with the aluminum foil. I'm not gonna to torture you to watch the whole video of using the maker tape. I know this is um, better than the foil. It works better than the, than the foil does. So we're gonna take our circuit tester. And we're gonna turn that down to where we know if it's gonna come duct electricity. We're gonna go from one all the way down to E. And we have ourselves a complete circuit. And 
once again, this stuff is um, really, really good for science activities that you're doing with with the kids. Uh, if you were using foil before, it, this would work a lot better. And then some people have used copper foil, which is really um, tough to work with. And this stuff's really strong. And as you saw, I tried to tear it. You would need scissors to, to cut this. This is pretty strong stuff. So Maker Tape from Brown Dog Gadgets is, uh, is where you would get it from, browndoggadgets.com. All right, so here is our completed circuit board using the Maker Tape. Now notice the Maker Tape is a little cleaner, but it is definitely a lot stronger and easier to work with than the foil. If you want to see another one of our videos with the Maker Tape, click here.